Hello my lovely Librans, thank you very much for tuning in to your reading for July with me Lorian. For those of you who are subscribed, thank you very much for coming back and for those of you who are new, I hope you get the energy and the messages you are looking for. So as you may know, this is a general reading for Libra Rising, Libra Moon and Libra Sun. Um, so if you, it's more of a personal dedicated reading to you that you're looking for, just head to my website link below and um, if you don't find a reading that you would like, I mean I do audio, email, Skype and video readings as well as astrology and other things, um, but if you feel you want a more customised one, I have started to do those now, so if it's particularly like a past life or something like that that you're wanting to look into, just email me and I will do my best to accommodate you. So this month we are looking at the Druidcraft Tarot and we're also looking at the um, Earth Magic Oracle deck. A few of you might realise I'm not on my altar and this is because um, my laptop decided to not record more than three minutes uh, so I had to panic buy um, a webcam for the PC so I'm grounded here for a while now um, unless the universe decides they want to give me a piece a laptop and um, it is cleared this is almost like an altar to me because I do all my work here, my writing, my Skype readings um, I do here as well I always try and make sure there's you know some crystals around to clear the energy and stuff um, so yeah it's maybe not as pretty as my altar um, especially not the one that I've got at the moment which is dedicated to Freya um, but this is certainly yeah certainly will do for now and still get the message across so I have Libra Rising and this hopefully should give me some insight as to what's to come for the month ahead um, but it is just going to be hopefully picking up on the really great energy that's coming through okay, okay. let's see i'm also doing this on the summer solstice so let's see if we can get some good vibes going for libra and see what the sun and moon have to say about what's to come in july i also hope that we now can have a turning point after all the distress and the one thing happening every single week, you know, something happening, and I just really hope we can move past that. Because Librans, you and Cancer seem to be a more of an empathic energy and a sensitive energy to things going on around. So, yeah, if you also have Cancer and Libra in the same chart, then my my, you're very very sensitive. So, let me take a look. And the one is ready. Okay, it's ready. Thank you very much. Oops. Ah, well. Okie dokie, okie dokie, dokie. Oops. I have got my cup of tea here, but I'm almost done with that now. Oh. Alright. Not bad at all, Libra. Don't be scared by that one. I know some of some people go, oh, did you see that? I hope you did. Let me just have a look. I know some people um kind of go nice. Um some people kind of go, oh no, it's death, it's death. It means that the no, it's not that bad. Death is the card of Scorpio and I am one, so it just means changes. Right, I have a look. Okie dokie. Also, if you do see anything like symbolism, for instance, if you've seen dragonflies or snakes or whatever um, for a lot recently, um, obviously I may not pick up on that. So it's something that you may have to look into if they're on these readings. So, um, and I say dragonfly and snakes because basically these two have a snake and a dragonfly. So, there's a definite feeling of imprint here okay ooh Libra some past life stuff coming through for you guys you've got whenever I see a snake I always imagine that the snake skin is kind of peeling away now if you look at the generational thing so for instance this life is just one of the skins that you your soul as a snake is going to shed um, this means that there's some generational stuff coming through for you. I also feel that you are going to maybe discover something about your past 
that has led to an emergence for you this month. So it's kind of like whatever you've been ingrained in you since a child or inexplicably a culture that you've been drawn to or something, you may actually find a connection between that and what you're doing now or what you want to do. Um, but I do mostly feel this is past life stuff. You're going to wake up to something. You're going to kind of, you've been submerged for so long and we're only here for a limited time. And I feel now you're going to wake up and now you're going to see something for what it is and you're really going to have your eye on the prize. She's a very mystical lady. And I feel that she's kind of directing us to kind of look back and see, you know, the winding road that we've come from and all the influences and the stepping stones that our family have given us, whether it be good or bad, to put into perspective here. Um, I like dragonflies personally. I know some people are scared of them, but... I feel this is good. This is good. I, I can't really say more than that. I think it's basically down to um, you Librans or Libra Risings or whatever to put two and two together and come up with the number that feels good for you or the solution that feels good to you because of your own formula in the past. It's like the DNA is kind of like a formula and the past lives are a formula and it's kind of you have to mash those together so if your family have said you need to be a dentist but your ancestry or your past lives are like well actually no I'm here in this life to become a world class singing teacher or something like that then I think that's something that you have to look at really this month it's about finding out your own path and your soul purpose which is calling you to question I think you may be questioning a bit but July brings forward a change. Now, as I say, people go, oh no, it's death, it means awful things. No, no, no. Um, you've got a snake in the background there, look too. See, so this is the past coming through. This is the past saying, look, you are being watched, you're being supported by souls gone by or ancestors, spirit guides that have been maybe family members before in previous lives. So this is you regenerating. Again, she seems to be creating a spell to kind of cast off this age that she seems to have. But there's wisdom here. And I believe that she is turning to this wisdom and she's turning to this to kind of cast the new dawn coming through and the seeds of change that are coming through. It's very difficult to deal with death and change in general because it means not only mourning what we have lost, but also maybe sometimes a part of ourselves. It can sometimes be the fact that you know it's never going to be able to revert to that. But look positive, you know, something new has blossomed from this. You've shed your skin, you're moving out. Um, it's adaptability, it's transformative um, things coming through. And generally I feel this is a great, great time for you, Libra. Because... You are going to have a lot of work to do, yes. You're going to have to put your nose to the grindstone, really, um, and just kind of bust out whatever it is you need to do. Now, whether this is working on friendships, relationships, a project, um, personal life, finances, getting them in order, looking for a new job, just work at it. Whatever your soul is telling you to do, work at it. If it's telling you to be the best parent in the world, work at it. Or if you want to um, learn a new skill, it's, it's going to be repetitive, it's going to be tedious, you're going to want to draw, tear your hair out, you're going to want to go, ah, I hate this, or something's going to be very annoying, but you've got skills, man, you've got a lot of skills, you've got a lot of trade going on, you can, I mean, even this, you know, could be like you're forging the same thing here, and you're kind of developing your own kind of magic and protection and there's a lot of hard work that's going into this but you're going to reap the rewards of it and I do actually feel that you will make time for family or you will make time for yourself because it's almost like you do get a respite you do get time to enjoy what you've done so far um, and just kind of I think everybody needs a break they can't work 12 hours 12 days 12 months without a proper break you will drain drain your energy dry this is not what you're meant to do. What you're meant to do is actually be accomplished, enjoy what you've done. I also feel the baby here is a bit symbolic. I think this is what you're actually creating. Um, I mean, for those of you who are not 
so inclined to have babies um this just means that you, this is whatever you're giving birth to whatever you're working hard on will actually draw results and draw come to fruition here and it's going to give you emotional satisfaction I feel that you're going to be emotionally secure in whatever you're doing. And at the end of the day, it speaks for itself. It really, really speaks for itself. You're going to get people interested in what you're doing. You're going to get people kind of going, ooh, I like this. And actually, you may just have to keep your eyes down and not be distracted by the attention. Because they'll want to learn from you. They will want to have your advice. They will want to... I don't know really what they'll want to do, but it just seems that they are wanting to watch and be a part of whatever it is you're creating. So, even if they don't, you know, they've just put an argument in my head. So, you may have a few friends appear at the end of the month who have nothing to do with what you're working on, but they have been drawn to you for the energy you've created for yourself because you're happy with the work you're doing, if that makes sense. So, they may not be directly involved or want to get directly involved in what you're creating, but they were drawn to you to help in something else because of this energy you're putting out there. I hope that makes sense. Um, but this is your time to shine, Libra. It really does seem like there's a lot of positive energy coming in, um, whichever aspect of this it is. And also whichever area of your life you're doing this hard work to. It seems like, I mean, it could be even dieting, it could even be trying to work on a health regime, whatever it is, you're going to put a lot of hard work into it. Um, and you're going to feel good about it. You're going to start seeing the improvements. You're going to start to see better things turning around for you. And I really hope you let me know how things go, lovely Libra, uh, because I'm really interested to see how things transpire for you. As always, thank you very much for those who've donated and those who have supported me on Patreon. Just a note, if you do want to donate, um, it's on my contact page on my website and all donations get a three card reading anyway. So just put that out there and also thanks for following me on twitter and facebook in the meantime i really look forward to reading for you soon august seems to be a very good month as far as i can see a lot of hard work again um but hopefully more rewards in the meantime i love you lots libra and do take care of yourself speak soon <laughs>